Hi, today in this video, we are going to implement the profile activity right from where we left in the previous video. This is a quick preview of what it's going to look like at the end of this video. We will create this UI right from the scratch. So sit back and relax. I would explain each and everything in detail. Let's straight away get down to the business and break the design quickly, this time in a little different way. First of all, we have the parent layout as the constant layout, which would have two children, each occupying 55% and 45% of the screen size with the help of the guidelines. So the top section would be occupied by another constant layout. Let's call it child constant layout, inside which we would have number of views like image view at the top for back button and options. Then few text views, each for activity heading, profile username or profile stats such as posts, followers and following. We will customize the fonts for each of them too. Next, we have a circular image view. For this, we would use our already used library for circular image view. For the bottom section of the parent constraint layout, we would have a staggered grid recycler view, where each item would be user's post, for which we would import a dependency for rounded image view. To begin with, you first need to pull the code from a GitHub repository. The link to that is in the description. If you haven't watched the first video, go and watch it first. It's on the right top corner, flashing right now. Let's move to the implementation part. This is the project structure we have. So let's create an empty activity and name it as profile. Now, following the breakdown, place a guideline somewhere around 55% and then place another constraint layout inside it. Match its constraint to the guideline and the parent layout, then make its height and width to be match constraint. Provide it with properties like ID and elevation. Now for the background, let's create a drawable file and define the properties like shape, corner radius and background color. Then move back to the XML file and add this drawable under background property. So this is how it looks now. Now let's place some guidelines to drop the two image views we need. One for the back button and the other for the options. Drag and drop the image views one by one and select the source of image as you want for your app. Match the constraints to the guidelines we have placed and as usual make the height and width to be match constraint. Place another guideline, then have a text view and then usual matching the constraint stuff again. Let's change the text and do the formatting by setting size, style and color of the text. Next, let's have the circular image view for which we have already imported the dependency. Define its source, match the constraints and add some padding to it. I'll time-lapse the repetitive steps to save some time. We will do similarly for the rest of the text views that is user bio, profile stats for followers, follows and posts. Let's run this once and see how it looks. I guess I forgot to put an intent on the home profile pic. Let's do that first. Define the circular image view, initialize it and then put an on-click listener on it. Inside which we would put our intent to profile activity. Now it works fine. Let's move on to staggered recycler view. This is going to be similar to the recycler view we implemented in the first video, where I explained all of it in detail twice. So we'll review it briefly this time. Do watch it once for a proper explanation. Let's begin quickly by placing a recycler view and matching its constraints as usual. Add some padding to the recycler view, followed by adding a dependency for the image view with rounded corners that we would need for each of the items in the recycler view. For the recycler view, we'll need three things, a layout for each item, a model class and the post adapter. So first, we'll be creating the post layout by creating a new .xml file. This would be the image view with rounded corners. We'll define properties like scale type, margin and corner radius etc. Next, create a model class named profile post item, which will have an int variable for image. Then we'll quickly create constructor and get our inside of functions for the same. Then we'll be creating profile post adapter. First. We'll create a view holder class inside which we'll define and initialize the view on the recycler view layout. That is the rounded image view in this case. After that, implement the necessary functions in the profile post adapter class. Once done, we'll define the list of the profile post items that will be inflated in the recycler view and create the constructor for the same. An on create view holder function will inflate the layout for each item of the recycler view. Next, We'll set the rounded image view of profile post layout with the image we'll fetch from the list using getter and setter functions. Moving to the profile activity, here we'll be declaring and initializing the recycler view and adapter. Then we'll create two functions, one for initializing the recycler view and second one for creating the hardcore data. While initializing the recycler view, we need to set the layout manager as the staggered grid layout manager. Keep the span count as two, which is basically the number of columns and the grid layout to be vertical. 
Next, we'll create an array list of profile post items and then add all the images we want in the recycler view to it. Then we'll call both the functions in the onCreate method. Next, we'll set the adapter to the recycler view and pass the list in the adapter with the context. Now let's see how it looks. It looks exactly as you wanted it to be. We just need to put an on-click listener on the back image view as we did for the home profile pic and also to set the custom font to all the text views we have. If you've watched the first video, then you know how to set the custom fonts. Let me explain it briefly. Declare and initialize the text views one by one. Create an instance of typeface by providing the source of your fonts. In our case, our fonts are inside fonts folder, which is an assets folder. And then simply set the typeface to the text views and we are done. Then we'll just put an on-click listener on the image view inside which we'll have an intent to the home activity. Before running the app one last time, if you want to know how to quickly implement this tweak in a couple of minutes, do watch the video that pops up at the end of this video and follow along. Let's run it and see what it finally looks like. It looks nice to me. Let me push the code to the GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description. Do like this video and drop a comment. I would love to respond to them. Subscribe to the channel for more such content. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep coding. Soon you'll find me taking another rebound to some other shot out there.